Hello and welcome to my home. I'm Lauren Rahovchek and this is Get It Out of Here, a show where I roast people who have horrible design, but then I show them how to fix it with a time lapse sketch. <sighs> so fun. How you doing? How have you been since we last spoke? You good? You hanging in there? You're not up to your tits and emails, are you? <laughs> no, me either. Why would you say that? I'm not projecting. And miles to go before I sleep. And miles to go before I sleep. Let's take a look-see at this gorgeous art arrangement. Just stunning, not working. Let's get some towels going on. My goodness. Why was it so common growing up to see people's parents having plungers like next to their toilet? Like, I don't need to see that, put it away. Why would you not put that away? Oh, I get what's happening here. Cause the back shower curtain is cut off and I'm like, were, is that, were you just doing that out of style? You were like, you know what? There's not enough trees here. I got one side, but I really, I wanna feel like I'm in a fucking meadow cause my wife won't let me move out of the city. <laughs> I'm gonna walk in and Dan's gonna have done this to our bathroom. Just like, oh, I need more fucking trees. <laughs> this bed is like at a fair on stilts. Order, order, extra, extra. Come see the freak show. That is like the world's highest headboard. It is just so disjointed. I like how the bed is falling off like the cliff of the rug. <laughs> Matching bed sets. No, absolutely not. No matching bed sets. It's not exciting enough. It looks boring. It looks like it's the inside of an Ashley's home furniture. And that's not somewhere you want to be. I guess I'm, I'm really cutting down the chances of people sponsoring my show. I love you, Ashley's. Call me. I keep looking around the room like, what else is silly? And it's just bed, bed, bed. I high, I high bed. There's the required lamp. I'm so glad they got the memo that they have to have the tall, skinny halogen lamp with the arm. I mean, what a useful arm that is. You see people all the time, they say, oh, you know what? Let me re-aim the arm here so I can get good light. People always use these lamps like that. They don't just unbox it, put it that way, and then eventually it's sitting on the curb in the trash in that position again. When you have a tight room, you really should keep your center of gravity lower. You want the height of the furniture to be lower. If you lower everything, you feel all of this space. Who's coming in this room saying, oh, I am so exhausted and sinking into this chair. They rock back and forth and smack into the framed artwork in the windowsill. <laughs> This is what happens when you have just overhead lights. It's awful. Don't fall victim to overhead lights. Again, with the matching bed sets, no. It's not when you are like, you know what, I'll just get the matching set so it looks better. No, that's incorrect. It, it looks worse. Listen to me. Don't ever get the matching set of furniture. When your drapes look like they're choking, I feel like I'm choking. Like if I had to go and stay in a guest bedroom like this, oh my God, no, I would not be into that. Do you have to bring your own pillow though? That bedspread is something. You need an area rug in here, you do. It's time for the redesign and this week is special because we're not redesigning a random room. We're redesigning our editor, Wes, and his wife, Michelle's baby nursery. I'm so excited. Michelle and I had talked about this wallpaper on the left and I just kind of ran with it from there. So I want to keep the cost down by doing it on this small wall. I want ombre curtains that'll kind of participate in the mural. I want blackout roller shades. If you don't have blackout roller shades in your nursery, you're a cuck. You look like a fool. Uh, Michelle wanted a crib that can grow with baby and Wes's mom wanted to repurpose an eclectic dresser. So I'm going to my crack den, AKA Facebook marketplace. Is, is this $30? I will take that. This dresser is kind of perfect. I also can't believe how perfect these sconces are. I love this unit and these baskets are gonna work for keeping all those knickknacks together. This glider's 
absolutely divine. Of course, it's Sarah Sherman Shamuel. And this is our roundup, and here's our vision board. Okay, Wes had recently painted the left and right walls, and it totally works with the mood we're setting, so I'm running with it. In goes our moody wallpaper. I want to get my plush area rug down. Let's mount these brilliant curtain panels over our blackout roller shades while I was recording this. I had to explain to my mom what a cuck means. <laughs> I love this lighting fixture. I'm gonna draw this bad boy in. I drew a dome on a building in art class in fourth grade. I honestly did it so poorly, it haunts me to this day. I lust after this glider. Oh wait, I wanted board and batten on the left wall for some visual interest. This is optional if they renew their lease, but honestly, you guys should probably just move really close to me. <laughs> I'm tossing these baskets in. Usually I'd want lids on them, but with a newborn, you need one-handed access. This crib was much easier to draw than I anticipated. We got Etsy art, and this is the dresser with new handles. I'm dropping in sconces here, and I'm calling it a wrap. How do we feel, baby Kleinect? Do you like your new home? I can't wait to meet you. Okay, let's do our recap. Say no to matching bedroom sets. Okay, low furniture makes a room feel larger. Avoid harsh overhead lighting. That's way harsh, Ty. And finally, if it looks like a horse should be jumping over your bed, it is too high. It is too high. Get it out of here. All right, that's it. Did you enjoy it? Did you learn something? Did you laugh? I hope so. I want to know what you want to see more of, what you want to see less of, but like say it nicely because I don't want my feelings to get hurt and I can take anything personally. Anyway. Thank you so much for joining us on today's episode of Get It Out of Here. We will see you on the next one. New episodes of Get It Out of Here are posted every first and third Monday of the month. Please like, share, and subscribe.